What's going on guys? Welcome to Heal, Please Heal Gaming, where we're playing This is the Police. I hope you guys have been keeping well. Welcome back to the game. Welcome back to our uh, status with the police station for Freeburg. Specifically after we had to fire just so many people because the... Because fucking City Hall made us. Alright, Freeburg Tribune. Park to host Bake Off, thankfully. Uh, Golden Bird, not enough plots as City Cemetery. And the fact, Freeburg's on my paper photo... photo Photographer films UFO in suburbs. Ooh, ooh, that's that's fancy. That's a fancy one. Oh my God! Why? Why are we playing this game again? Why? Why are we? Why are people not coming in? Obi, Obi, what the fuck? Okay, look, there's another cop that's gonna get fired. Obi has pissed me off now. No, I've already listened to this. I'm done. I don't want music. Just fucking go away. Where's Obi? I am not putting up with bullshit when people don't come into work for no fucking reason. What is this? Job officer, SWAT. I want everything. I'm, I'm, I want everything. I'm doing you guys a good fucking job. Obi? What the fuck? You didn't come into work? You see, I can't afford to lose them, though. Oh, it's too bad we can't give him, like, a warning. I'd be like, hey, uh... You know, you really can't do that. You really shouldn't do that. Don't, like, you gotta come into work, or else, uh, you're fired. And I don't think you really wanna be fired. We got a fight at Kevin Throat's bar. A bar fight, a bar fight broke out after the bartender refused to serve two particularly drunk men at 8, 7 in the morning. 8, 0, 7 in the fucking morning. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm gonna take Samity, Mefford, and Chavers, or Chavez, and we're gonna go there, uh, because she needs to get, she needs points. She's only at 60. That's not really the best. Now, with the Sands thing as well, I think at this point, I actually am able to... To kind of... If I don't have enough cops to go to on one of his missions, like this one, for example, I just won't. Because, seriously, it, it gets to a point where he's so far ahead in the lead that I'm not really too concerned if uh, uh, Varga gets a little bit of things here and there. But what is this? We found an apartment with one of the leaders of Varga's punks. We're going to end this thing ourselves. But there's bound to be some gunplay. It would be good if the police took charge of the situation once the dust settles. Uh, I don't really know if I want to do that one. If these guys get back ahead and I can do that one, fine. But otherwise, like two large angry men are fighting in the corner of the bar. Wait until the next dog exhausts himself, use tasers on them, or try to separate them. Well, no way in hell am I going between them. And I'm not watching, so we're going to use tasers on them. Yeah. How? What? <laughs> Chavez, the new fucking birch. Jesus Christ! Look at this. What happened? How did they? How did they escape? You miss with the tasers? Did you hit yourselves? Like Jesus, guys. Samity, Mefford, and Chavez. These, these, uh, or Chavez. Why do I keep saying Chavez? I don't know why I put an R there. I keep doing that. And I don't understand why. But anyways, th this crew can just. You guys are going to this. Like, really? Suicide threat. A young man climbed to the top of the cathedral and is threatening to jump. A crowd of onlookers has gathered under the cathedral. Some of them recognize the man. They say they're sure he won't jump. He's just had some bad acid and wants some attention. Aw, well, Roberts and Vandal are going to go there. Aw, Stoval is not here anymore. Birch is no longer here as well. That sucks. So Robbins and Vandal are going to go over there and be like, listen, dude, share some of that acid. Mr. Boyd, my catering company has prepared a 20th anniversary banquet from a gallery of modern art, but the celebration was cancelled at the last moment. It'd be fortunate to see such a mountain of food went to waste. I'm willing to offer it to you and your men for a modest fee. Do you think your employees would love these delicious dishes? Yes, for $300 and to let, to, you know, for these people to calm down over all the fired cops that were old and that would complain about how people shouldn't eat this stuff because you're going to gain weight. At least no one's there to complain anymore. Let's eat. Let's we buy the food for three hundred. Give it to our men. Let them be happy and merry. Robbery. A young woman attempted to leave the octopus restaurant without paying. The waitress tried to stop her, but the girl punched her in the head and knocked her unconscious. Okay, fantastic. A guard tried to step in, but the girl disabled him with pepper spray. She then locked herself into the back room when she heard beating. When she was heard beating something and shouting curses. Oh, Cecile. You're going to take strong, and you're going to go see what the fuck this person's beating in the back. Hopefully it's not his cock. No, it's, it's a woman. It's not, by the way. First and foremost, it's a woman. <laughs> there is no cocks involved. 
Suicide reports. You son of a bitch. This isn't the first time teenager Gordon Booker has drawn the attention of police with such performance. He was never really planning on jumping. You son of a bitch. I hope I got some acid out of that. Otherwise, what was the point? You explained to me what the point was. Climbing a church that high. I remember we were going to the UK and we were in, um... Beautiful. We were, um... We were in Ireland somewhere. We went somewhere where they had like this, like the uh, like a festival or like a flag festival, right? And they have this one structure where you climb up. Now I'm somebody who is a little claustrophobic, because so I'm a big guy. Like I'm 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 a wide, I'm a wide individual, right? Um, so for me, small spaces I'm just not comfortable with. I mean, we, we started climbing this thing. I can't remember the name of it, unfortunately. But we started climbing it, and man, it got more narrower and narrower. And you're climbing like the, a, a structure that's like uh, the, like it's like the round the round steps. You keep going up and up and up. And it just got so small, I'm like, I can't go to the top. I'm, I'm, I just can't. I got, like, to a point where I'd be amazed if I could pass someone and they can pass me within that same little small court. It was ridiculous. I mean, it was just, it was like, it was literally like three feet, three or four feet wide. I was done. Anyways, uh, let's continue this. Uh, some of our men just ran into a bunch of punks in the street. We don't know if these are Vargas' people, but it'd be good of a couple of uniforms and scene just in case things go south. By the looks of it, it's already going south. <laughs> Mefford and Chavez, you're going for this. You're you're my you're my pit crew, unfortunately. Birch used to be my pitch crew for Sand and stuff like that, and Sand and Birch knew each other very well. Maybe Sand gave jo uh, Birch a job as a as a security guard because they're like, listen, we're we're the same age. You know what? Yeah, like it's Birch has been around for a very long time and knew Sand when he got here. He actually babysat him. And <laughs> noise complete. Robert Wilson called to complain about his family, or that his family can't get any sleep on the account of noisy neighbors. He says, strange people are always coming and going, and they take deliveries at all hours. Mr. Wilson has tolerated for a long time and done nothing about it, but his son snuck out before bedtime and peeked through the neighbor's window. They swear they saw boxes of machine guns. Kids have such imaginations, they can come up with anything, but it might be best if you send over an officer, maybe ask him to keep it down at night. All right, that, that we can do. We're going to take Strong, we're going to take Robbins, they're going to go over there and they're going to ask them to keep it down and to show them if they have any automatic weapons within the premises because, you know, that's that's usual. That's a usual cop presence, right? Like, you see a cop, they're like, hey, you know, uh, first and foremost, keep it down, and where's your guns at? You're like, what? I don't, what? Pick one, guns or weapons? What, what, what are you here for? What are you looking for? What are you buying? What he's selling? Apparently, it's a lot more serious than anticipated. All right, Magamera, Vandal, go see what's going on. Are we gonna get into a huge gunfight? Should I brought? Should I have brought SWAT and the paddy wagon? I should have brought all of those, to be honest with you. But I didn't get the option for them, so that's that. Homicide. Can I? Ooh, okay, so we got new frames. So this, okay, 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 Billy, okay, Billy, let's do this. Um, so saw two black, saw a black sedan pull in the building. Two men, one with the raincore, got out. So we got this one. Where, so it's the building. They pull up. They get out. Uh the head of they heard to the they head to the elevators, and I turned and saw two scary men. I didn't see any weapons. So that's that's the secretary here, I believe. So they took the elevator. Hold on, though. That's a red coat. That's a black coat. Oh, there's inconsistencies in this. There's inconsistencies. And that looks like they're leaving the building. That and that? Oh my god, yes! Timothy Foster, unemployed, but according to unconfirmed reports, was a cleaner for the Mafia. Oh! Moody, you did this all by yourself. Holy shit! Um... Where do we want to go? Uh, reliable informant reports that Timothy was living here recently. This is his house, or Timothy previously worked at a bouncer in a club. It's unknown whether he can be found there now. You know what? Let's go. Let's go here. Let's go take the Cecile and Samity and go fucking capture this guy. That's amazing. I can't believe we actually got that. What is this one? All right. So someone banged the door. So this is the lady that got bashed in the head. Okay. He's trying to fight. Oh my god. And then. All right, so we know that the brother came in. Uh, he was talking to the sis. Talking to the sis. Uh, they were... Or... Yeah, talking to the sis. He was asking about bills. She couldn't pay him. Then... 
If the kid was there, struggle with that, and then bash her in the head? Is that how that works? Is, does the kid go somewhere around here? Maybe. Is this is this part correct? No, yeah, because he's coming in. She's already at the table. Arguing, taking that, and back. Okay. Well, I thought I thought this looked somewhat normal, but apparently it is not. Okay, so I th I, I'm assuming we need more frames for that. Uh, noise complaints. They caught the people. Yes, and they found they did find fucking automatic weapons. Mafia, you know what to do with this. Robbery, nothing. Theft, nothing. That's fucking fantastic. What is this? Oh, they're going to, to get that guy. I can't believe I actually got that one. I think the camera, I think it's a black and white camera. That's why the guy's jacket looked uh, black. So I was like, ah, oh, gag damn it. Gag damn it. All right, we're going to end the day. Beautiful. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Wait, what, what happened here? Nice. Cecile Insanity, Yes. Cecile, like I said, he's the, he's the Super Saiyan of the fucking crew. You were able to arrest all suspects. Beautiful. That is wonderful. We can also put him on another case then, because we got to get some of these cases pumped out. That's the unfortunate part, right? Oh, my God. The, oh, my. Someone just pouring a bucket of chips on here. That's all it really is, to be honest with you. That's all it really is. All right. And we are done for the day. Screw this. We're out of here. Day 26. I haven't had any cutscenes as of late either. Freebird Tribune, Screwgirl struck dead by lightning. Oh, that sucks. Scrolled and Bird says confectionery reduces staff. All right. The fact Freebird's number one paper. Legendary actor Paul Spaggett giving master class in Freebird. Well, that just sounds fantastic. Teach those bastards how to act. Like bitches. Some friends of mine asked me to help out at their animal shelter. They're rapid. They're rapidly short staffed. Can I take the day off? Sure. Go help people at the animal shelter, you son of a bitch. And we're going to start the day. Um, Sure, why not? Let's put late hour on. I think I've already heard this one. I think I've already heard all of them, to be honest with you. Federal law prohibits public gathering close to municipal buildings. The blacks are planning to protest today in front of City Hall. Why do you have to refer to them like that? Like, why do you have to... That's just... This is a direct threat to the life of Mayor Rogers. Eliminate the threat by any means necessary. Really? Mayor Rogers, why don't you just fucking get killed? Did you accept everything? 660. Come on. Good. I can swap. I can do this. They can work three times a day because I need that if anything big should happen. I have a raise. Yay. They approved it. I have one more detective. Oh my god. Rex Kwando? No, this is Hulk fucking Kogan. This is Hulk fucking Kogan. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I have to hire this man. I have to hire that man. Oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wasn't expecting to see Hulk Hogan there. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, a uh, black protest. About 100 black people have surrounded City Hall chanting, We want attention. Alright, we're gonna bring the SWAT, the paddy wagon. We're gonna bring out Adama Tsubaki Chavers. Um. And we're gonna leave it there because I I don't think they're gonna have it's not gonna be problems. Oh fuck! I have actually I actually have to fill the whole fucking thing. Jack Mayer is it mis has interpreted the law in his favor. In fact, federal law allows public events near municipal bu buildings, including the mayor's office, prevent the event, providing the event is peaceful. We better cover our asses. Um. Evidence named against Kochi. Oh my lord. No, I'm not doing any of that. I did that, and I, I, I just don't want to do that. Um, I have a new job officer slot. <laughs> Damn, I'm, I'm gonna put... I'm actually literally gonna put Hogan on somewhere, because that's just fucking ridiculous. Um, Alright, so let's, let's, let's take a look at what we have right now. We have four detectives, and four detectives on each. We have three, six, we have nine, nine and nine cops. Alright. So let's do this. Who has the most professionalism? 
All right, so Shift B. So let's go. Let's do this then. So we're gonna get, we're gonna hire Elisa Koenig for Shift B. We're gonna hire Chris Adams for Shift A. We're gonna hire Bert Steele for Shift B. We're gonna, f I'm, I, I'm going to, I have to hire Hulk Hogan for Shift A. Rex Kwong Do is not your name. It's fucking Hulk Hogan. You're going on Shift A, Hogan. Um, and when it comes to detectives, I'm gonna put this lady on sh which which shift has the most investigations right now actually let's see here robbery <coughs> oh my god i was laughing so hard my fucking throat hurts uh we have moser here now i can get moody with moser because they had they, they can handle this robbery and homicide here i think is the same detective yeah so i don't have anyone here now these detectives like porter is on nope 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 fuck off fuck off Porter is on shift A, right? Yeah, so he's on shift A. So I got to get someone for shift A. So let's get Ruby on for shift A because that's where all of the assignments are right now. And we're going to go here and we're going to put... Or... Why did I say Ruby? Did I say Ruby? I don't know why. We're going to get Sims. I think she's Ruby Sims, I think. But it doesn't matter. We're going to get Sims on there. Hopefully we can get some, uh, some slides on that. And there we go. We got that under wraps. We... <laughs> I hired Hulk Hogan. That, that to me, is just... That's the unbelievable spot of this. I hired Hulk Hogan. The message of call came in from an elderly woman named Sarah Wilkinson. She's concerned about a baby crying and others shouting from the neighbor's house. She's always known the child to be quiet and well-behaved. Um, because I may have four cops, I don't want to send too many of them out. So, Vela, please go check on this yourself and see what's going on there. There's a baby crying continuously, and obviously this lady is concerned for the safety of that baby. Let's go see what's going on. Suppress the protest by force? No. I'm not suppressing any protest by force. I'm sorry. I did that once with the women. I'm not doing it now. That was just backlash, and I don't need that. Because there was no reason to. Mass riots. Okay, can we can we wait? Until these guys come back, because they have the paddy wagon, and they have the SWAT. Um, and they have all the people. So she needs additional... Degar and Purdy? You're going there. You're going to go see what the hell's going on. Go help her out. There's a baby crying, and they don't know why. Uh, we got... Football fans have started a massive fight in the stadium. The police are trying to keep order, but the crowd isn't cooperating. Oh, man. Football fans. Yeah, they're... Um, even soccer fans. Anyone. Any fan, man, of sports is out of crazy. It's individual. I am. I know I am. Um, should I send everyone? Is this is this smart of me? I'll have no cops available for anything. Keep Platonic back. Take these guys, SWAT with paddy wagon. Keep Platonic back. Just she's she's the wild card of this case or this uh, precinct. You never know what could happen. We need Platonic here for this. And tell me this is a good. Is it good? Oh thank God. Oh thank God. Oh thank God. Did you find anything? Oh no, you didn't find anything. I wonder what's going on. The baby was crying a lot. And smoke bombs have gone off through the stadiums, and people are beating each other mercilessly. Oh my God. Fire into the air to scare the assailants, hit them with tear gas, rush into the ground, armed with tasers. Um... Uh, yeah, ah, uh, hit them with tear gas. I don't want to anger them, though. Fire into the air to scare the assailants. Yes! That's how that works, baby! No one was unharmed. Adama, too, was just there. Like, these, these aren't my best people. These are the worst four. But with the paddy wagon and SWAT, they still did it. Adam didn't even do anything. He just stood there again. He's like, I'm wearing glasses. Legally, you're not allowed to hit me. And people are like, well, you're a cop. That must that must be true. When in reality, it really isn't. It's a carjacking. I'm waiting for some people to get back, though. We got Purdy and Degar and Vela coming back right now. A woman called to report a carjacking. I was driving to work, stopped by the red light, and a man ran up to the car and pulled me right through the open window. Hurry, the traffic jam everywhere. I could, he couldn't have gotten far. Purdy, Degar, you're on the case of that. You're going to go get this motherfucker, and you're going to bring him back. And when you bring him back, you're going to rape him. You're going to rape him because he stole the car, pulled the woman out of the window, didn't even dare to open the fucking door, pulled her right out. Was this, was this right? Was this literally right by the cop station? All right. There you go. Why am I not surprised? They, they got this guy. These guys just can never fail. <coughs> Some idiots are out of our bank again, trying to withdraw money from our account. This time we tried kicking them out. And they started breaking furniture and lighting paperwork on fire. Apparently the fools think this is going to hurt the business. Sabaki and Adama, please go deal with these guys and their goddamn fires. What is with these guys and so much fires? Stop with the fires. That's all I'm asking. Like, just, just one day, just stop thinking to yourself, I need to start a fire. 
That's that that shouldn't be any thought that a normal individual have. To be fair, you're Vargas' guys and you're not normal individuals. Vandalism. Retired Samantha Brandon was looking at a window when she saw two young girls break the window of a nearby house. They then pinned the words traitor and cunt on the wall. What a cunt! Kochi, Chavers, go deal with these people. Jack, you swore an oath to serve the city. If you can't keep the promises, we won't keep ours. I'm not suppressing them by force. Like, I'm, what is your problem? I don't give a crap if you don't like that. Go fuck yourself, okay? Can I use the sands to, like, take a hit on the mayor? Can I not? I'd, I'd love to do that. Oh my god, there's more sand problems. The punks have, have a new lieutenant, and to make himself look good for Varga, he kidnapped the daughter of a senior member of our family. We've learned the address of the house where she's been taken, and we've already sent some people out, but we don't know what we're going to find there. It's a perfect situation for police backup. Tsubaki, Adama, you're at it again. They're like, really? What the fuck? Vandalism. There you go. You guys did well. Good catching. Good maja fucking catching. I, n lately, these cops have just been on the ball. Other than the one that got that got away from the the bar fight, but other than that, you know, cops have been on the ball. I can't complain about these guys are doing pretty well. This is obviously never going to get solved. Who? Detectives. Beasley. Okay. Beasley. I don't think it helps. By having two of my people on this. So I'm going to take them off, Beasley. And I'm really sorry about that. But I don't know what's going on. And frankly, it's getting a bit annoying. And that's all A. And that's all A. So all of the homicide investigation scenes all on shift A. Which kind of sucks. So I'm going to try to work it out where all my detectives are on the same shift and working together. Not individual or separate. So I think technically I should have got another guy for uh, shift B to be honest with you, but want another detective. <coughs> Come on, Varga, just end this. Like end this, Varga. You're done. Sands are going to obliterate you. Um, isn't this the picture for the Sands? Isn't this the Vargas picture? What just happened here? Why did they? Why did it switch? All right. That was... That's that's a little glitch. Didn't think anyone noticed that, did you? I did. Alright, guys. Thank you. So, I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, leave a like below. Leave a comment below. Talk to me. Send me something. Send me a picture. Uh, also, I'm just going to uh, point out too. Make sure to visit uh, my Reddit. Uh, subreddit, Heal Please Heal. Uh, I'm going to be using that a lot more now. Uh, I'm going to try to really uh, work with Reddit and kind of communicate with you guys there as well. So feel free to check me out there and make sure to follow there as well. Um, I'm also on Twitter at Heal Please Heal. You can find me on Facebook as well. Heal Please Heal. Um, and yeah, if you don't know where I am, you can just ask. DM me or leave me a message below or whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck, 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 fuck. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, make sure to heal. Please heal.